<laughs> Aloha. I am here to tell you about my current offerings of, uh, you may have noticed my website is full of events for the summer because I'm going to be in Mount Shasta this summer and doing lots of fun things. So there's yoga and writing, yoga and meditation, and photography, and yoga and photography. Um, so just go to the event link in the drop down and check it out. I am out here in the woods uh, behind where I'm staying with all these trees and I wanted to leave you with a uh, update on the retreats and two tips. Two tips for jogging yourself out of negative thinking and depression. Okay, so uh, first the retreats, a little bit more about that. They just organically started to happen because you don't have to get on a plane and fly to Hawaii. You can get in your car and drive to Mount Shasta, one of the most energetically powerful places on the planet. And spring and summer are the best times to be there. There's a place, Panther Meadows, that's only open in July and August. It's ancient Native American Indian grounds. And there's so much snow that they're not open except for those two months. We can go there, hot springs. We'll be doing yoga, meditation, writing, and photography. So check it out at the link in the description. And the other thing, okay, depression and negative thinking. Two things. The first thing is shake up your body. It's the portal to a divine connection. I forget this all the time, but even if you do five minutes of weightlifting, yoga, a run, deep breathing, it moves your brain cells and you don't think so much. We overthink a lot. Um, so it seems really simple, but you can kind of get into a state where you don't do that when you're thinking negative thoughts. Um, so that jogs you out of the negativity. And then the other thing I thought of, it just happened to me, I was briskly walking here, <laughs> and a woman who walks here a lot um, just starts talking to me like I have time to talk to her. I don't even know her, but she starts telling me about where she's from, and I just kept walking. So here's my tip. I wasn't rude, I was just, walking as I was talking but I didn't invite any attention um, and I think we get caught up in people's uh, stuff and it has nothing to do with your walk in the fresh air if you really wanted to talk to someone you would um, and attention is a gift so if you don't want to give it and I have this straight from one of my teachers a Tibetan Buddhist nun she said if people uh, I asked her, I said, what if people talk to you and they just keep talking? She said, you walk away. <laughs> and I said, really? Because you can get caught up in stuff that you don't need to be caught up in. And this place and this place needs to be kept really positive. So, I'll see you in Mount Shasta or Hawaii. Take a deep breath. Enjoy. Life is short. And on a more positive note, enjoy every moment. And... Breathe deeply and remind yourself it's a practice to be positive. Many blessings.